I'm Nicole Gomez and this is your morning update for Tuesday, June 1st. The man accused of driving the boat that capsized off Point Loma, killing three people, is back in federal court today. The U.S. citizen Antonio Hurtado is accused of trying to smuggle 32 people into the U.S. last month. They had each paid between $15,000 to $18,000 for their journey, which ended when their boat slammed into the rocks off Point Loma and broke apart. Three people were killed, 29 others hurt. It was one of several recent human smuggling incidents off the coast of San Diego. Well, more than four dozen surveillance cameras could soon go up in downtown Oceanside. Police want half a million dollars to install and operate them. The cameras would record busy intersections, streets and alleys, a few beach areas you can see from that map right here. City leaders who support the plan say it'll make up for short staffing in the Oceanside Police Department. Still, though, it's getting mixed reviews from business owners and residents. City Council is expected to make a decision on that project tomorrow. Well, a program to help struggling businesses in La Mesa is getting renewed. The La Mesa Village Enhancement Fund uses parking meter revenue to fund community events in La Mesa. The hope is that those events will draw people to the area to spend money, but some local business owners tell us it's not generating the foot traffic they need, and the city should focus on other ways to help struggling shops and restaurants. One thing to surely help out local businesses, we are continuing to make huge progress towards the county's va vaccination goals. Across San Diego County, nearly 70% of San Diegans 12 and older have at least one dose 55% are fully vaccinated. Right now, the county says we are about 73% of our way to the goal of herd immunity. And today is the last day the vaccine site at UC San Diego's REMAC will be open. Thousands of vaccines have been given out at that site. It's been open since early February, but now it's closing down as UC San Diego prepares for a return to full campus operations by the start of the fall quarter. Well, a new state task force will start looking into reparations for the descendants of enslaved people. It's the first in the nation to look at how the impacts of slavery still affect black Americans today. California Secretary of State Dr. Shirley Weber, along with Governor Newsom, will address the group today during its first meeting. And today marks the first day of Pride Month, a time to celebrate the LGBTQ community and allies here in San Diego. The Pride flags are now flying at the headquarters of the San Diego Unified School District. District leaders say it represents their support of all LGBTQ students, family and staff. We'll continue to bring you the latest news here on NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego. We talk about the day's biggest headlines and those affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day.